So I've got this suction cup sink caddy and it keeps, well it keeps doing that. And it's kind of frustrating. Yeah, like that. So let's fix it. So this is a, a top down image of the uh, caddy mount. And I'm just using some B splines to uh, create the rough shape of the um, outside of it. And create some symmetry constraints and kind of just roughing it in. This box represents the uh, actual size of the mount. And here I'm going to open up GIMP and adjust the image, crop it down so it's just to the outside dimensions. And that'll allow me in FreeCAD to easily scale it down to the uh, correct size. And then bring in the uh, B splines to match that. So now we have an actual uh, size sketch. There we go. I'm going to pad that out to the thickness of the mount. Here we go, now we've got our basic uh, shape we're working with. And here I'm outlining the um, top groove where the uh, caddy basket locks into. I'm just adding some dimensions, getting it, you know, roughed out, rough size. And there we go, and I'm gonna use that, and we're gonna cut that out of the main body. Now I'm sketching out one of the uh, clips that actually clip the uh, caddy body to the, um, or the caddy body and the uh, mount together, offsetting that, and then I'm going to loft between them to create the uh, clip, and then adding a little padding on the back to uh, bulk it out. And now I'm just going to position the uh, clip where it needs to be relative to the body, and I'm using um, actual measurements taken off the body, but kind of using the image uh, in the background as a sanity check. But it won't be exact because there's a little bit of a parallax issue on the image. And now I'm getting it offset correctly to where it needs to be on the body to interlock with the uh, basket itself. I'm going to duplicate it, flip that around, and create another one. And there we go. Now we've got all of our basic attachment points. And I realized that the uh, groove was on the wrong side, so here I'm just flipping the sketch around manually and then uh, re uh, grooving it on the other side. All right, there we go. Now I'm adding some fillets. Going around, just double checking everything. And here I'm copying the uh, profile of the main body and then shrinking it down a bit. And we're gonna use this to um, hollow out the main body so that we can kind of save some resin. Um, the walls are a lot thicker than the original because resin tends to be a lot more fragile um, than like an injection molded part. And adding some builds to that and then doing a Boolean cut. And there we go, now we've got our hollowed out um, main body. Okay, and now um, we're going to come in here and we're going to start sketching out the uh, clip. And this is what's going to replace that lousy suction cup. So we're just setting up the basic geometry, roughing it all in, adding some dimensions. Um, this is going to mount on a utility sink, so that's what it's being sized to fit. I'm going to add a fillet in here and then redimension it and just get it roughly uh, shaped. So my first attempt uh, at getting this bulked out was to just simply pad it. And you'll see here that it pads, but then I realized that because of the curvature of the main body, it's not going to intersect fully. So I had this little uh, tab here to kind of cut into it. At this point, I realized I don't like that, and I want it to follow the actual profile of the main body. So I'm going to sketch that out and then loft it along this profile so that the uh, clip itself kind of curves and it'll, it'll make it look nicer and function better. And there you go, now you can see we're padding it along that uh, profile and kind of tweaking it to the right size. Uh, most of this is done by eye. And then uh, just kind of refining everything. Now here I'm uh, adding some fillets and kind of fighting with uh, FreeCAD's uh, you know, fillet system. It's uh, kind of annoying at times, uh, but you know we get there eventually and get all the fillets in place. And then these are all bullying together, and then we're going to uh, export it as an STL. You know, after checking it out a little bit, a couple more tweaks, and then we're going to uh, export that, import it into G2Box, and get it sliced, and uh, add some supports. You know, double checking those to make sure they're somewhat sane. And then here we are slicing it, and we're going to go and um, you know double check the actual uh, slices, save it, put it in the printer, and then it's basically this for 11 hours. You know, the old in and out. And then here we go, we're setting up to drip for a little bit, and then after it drips, pull it off, and we're going to separate it from the uh, base plate, and then we clean up our tools, of course, and then there we go, and now we're removing the supports, and this is really satisfying, just peeling off those light supports is always really nice, um, they come off really cleanly, and they don't really leave too much uh, damage to the surfaces they're attached to, and then all cleaned up, 
And now here we're going to be washing it in isopropyl alcohol, and we're using a two-bin uh, approach. So we have this dirty bin that kind of gets the bulk of everything off. And we switch brushes and bins, and we wash it with the cleaner alcohol. And that gets pretty much everything else off. And then at the end, we just give it a nice rinse with uh, isopropyl. And then 30 minutes in the UV post cure, and that'll harden everything up, make sure everything's good to go. And then here we are, with the actual, see that's the original, that clips in. And then here's our new one, got it in all its glory. Um, and you can see it also satisfyingly clips in. That looks pretty good. Now let's go install it. And then you can see here we're comparing the uh, two. And they look good, pretty close match, not perfect by any means, but definitely functional, and good enough for a uh, kind of fast and easy sketch. So there you go, now we're sitting it in there, and we're going to take it and fill it up with the uh, regular stuff, you know, some soap, an old crusty uh, dish sponge, and a nice uh, dish brush. And there you go, problem solved. And here in the upcoming, we can see a shot of the actual clip and how it mounts. It sits pretty flush to the uh, utility sink, and it's good. And it's not going to fall off anymore.